Hello everyone, Kevin with Halo Power Solutions. Today we've got our old Federal Pioneer test panel that we set up here in the shop. And we do, we've done all sorts of tests on it, showing how breakers don't trip on these when they're overloaded. Uh, we use space heaters, air dryers, toasters, that sort of thing to show that. Uh, when we load these breakers up with way more than the breaker should handle, uh, sometimes the breaker doesn't trip. We're going to show you something a little scary today as well. We're going to create a dead short on this 15 amp breaker right here and show you how you can almost weld with this thing and sometimes the breaker doesn't trip. Okay, so these are our gloves rated for a thousand volts. <clears throat> We've got the breaker. Let's shut the breaker off for the time being. So what I've got here is just an extension cord plugged in and I'm going to short the hot out to the neutral and we'll see if the breaker trips or if we just get some sparks. Breaker's on and let's see what happens. Breaker didn't trip. Let's try it again. Breaker still didn't trip, but I'm burning off the wire. Did you see that? The wires are getting shorter and shorter and shorter, but yet, well look, that 15 amp breaker still hasn't tripped. There, finally. So look what happened. Those wires actually welded together. That's what it took. Yeah. Okay, so just another reason why, if you have one of these old Federal Pioneer panels, and you have the dead short that happens somewhere in your home, you can imagine how much heat how many amps went through these wires? I touched them together three times, and it took the third time before that breaker finally tripped. So keep that in mind. An old federal panel, it's definitely time to upgrade to something new and modern. The trip? No. Finally, look at that, eh? So what do we learn about old electrical panels? They suck. They suck. 